Welcome back to the next video, everybody. Today is all about old forms and new forms. So motivation and setup. Last video, we found that SKN had an orthogonal basis of simultaneous T sub N and diamond of N eigenforms, but only if little n and big N were coprime. So we'd like to see what we can do to remove this coprimeness condition. So let's let M and R be natural numbers such that M properly divides N. That means M just isn't N, but it divides it. And we also wanna make sure R divides the quotient N over M. Let's let V sub R be the scaling by R matrix. So R001. You can easily check there's a map from SKM to SKN giving, given by sending F to F bar K V sub R. And that this map sends S sub K of M chi to the corresponding subspace of S sub K of N, okay? It's also easy to check by just looking at Fourier expansions that if P doesn't divide M, then T sub P of F bar K V sub R is T sub P of F bar K V sub R. <clears throat> In particular, the map that I gave you up here that sends F to F bar K V sub R sends TP eigenforms to TP eigenforms. You can see that immediately from the equation here. One main motivation for introducing old forms and new forms is that this transportation of TP eigenforms under this map fails if P divides N, okay? And so let's define the space of old forms of level N to be the subspace, which we'll label S sub K of N, O, O for old, of S sub K N spanned by the images of these maps that send F to F bar K V sub R as M and R vary overall integers satisfying the divisibility criteria above. So M properly divides N and R divides the quotient N over M. They can be thought of as forms of level M or M divides N in some sense, okay? They're old, they come from a different level, right? And so a, a fancy way of saying this is that S sub K of N O is the span of the union over all M properly dividing N of the union over all R dividing N over M of the sets F bar K V sub R where F is an S sub K of N. Okay. And here's where things get, you have to remember this definition that I'm about to give you because otherwise you're going to think an old form is just anything in S sub K of N O when it's not. A Hecke eigenform in S sub K of N O is called an old form of level N. So we're not just gonna call generic elements of S sub K of N O old forms. We're only gonna call Hecke eigenforms old forms. Okay, what's a new form? It's essentially anything that's not an old form. More precisely, the space of new forms of level N written S sub K of N like superscript N, N for new, is the orthogonal complement of S sub K of N O relative to the Peterson inner product. This is why it was important to discover that there was an inner product on S of K of N so that we can take the old forms and look at their orthogonal complement and call those the new forms. A Hecke eigenform living in S of K N N is called a new form of level N. So again, not just any generic element of S of K N N is gonna be called a new form, only the Hecke eigenforms living there. If we have a normalized new form of level N, we'll call that a primitive form of level N. We'll denote prim sub k of n to be the set of primitive forms of weight k and level n. And so a crucial proposition, s sub k n o and s sub k n n are both stable under all the <clears throat> HECA operators t sub p and all of the diamond operators diamond of d for d ranges over z mod and z cross. And this is proven in probably diamond and Sherman chapter five, but also CSS chapter three. And so theorem, so this is where we're gonna get our basis from. This is where we're gonna remove that co-primeness condition mentioned at the beginning of the video. Prim sub K of N is a basis for S sub K of N. In particular, the union overall M properly dividing N and R dividing N over M of all the F bar K V sub R's for F in prim K of M is a basis for S sub K of N, okay? So this is fantastic. So sort of all of the various images of primitive forms form a basis for S sub K of N under those maps discussed earlier, okay? And so now we get what we wanted. An immediate corollary is the following. The condition that little n and big n be co-prime can be removed from the corollary ending the previous video or that was discussed at the beginning of this video, provided we work in S sub K N N. In other words, S sub K N N has an orthogonal basis of T N and diamond of N eigenforms for all N, not just for all N co-prime to big N. This theorem and its corollary that we just got finished discussing, these are hard results, and mainly because they require something called the main lemma, which is a tricky result. 
I would see DS chapter five and CSS chapter three as usual for discussions about this. Okay. And so next video, we will tie all of this information about new forms and old forms in to the conjecture we were talking about several videos ago that had to do with L functions. And we'll see that these F bar K WNs actually do have L functions attached to them.